So I'm cleaning out the nastiest thing ever. Hold on, I'm fixing my hair real quick. And uh, I was thinking about some stuff, you know. First of all, thinking about why am I I'm cleaning out this nasty fryer. It's a deep fryer and it's been outside for a long time. And I'm like, why am I wasting my time? Or am I wasting my time? Uh, it would be so much easier to just go to the store and, and buy a new one. And uh, so this one literally has been sitting outside for quite some time. And it's not been just sitting outside. It's been, been used as a perch for birds. Nothing got into it, which is great. But I'm thinking, why why am I cleaning this out? Why why is this so important? And we're coming into Easter, right? And I, I like to make what's called Easter po' boys for uh, my kids. So, and I'm trying to prepare for that. And I'm like, you know what? Why am I going to spend money on something like extra funds on something when I have something that actually? works fairly well it's just that I got to take the time to clean it so sometimes <clears throat> in life we think okay well I'm just gonna get a, a new whatever a new something instead of thinking about how we can fix or repair the things that we already have um, some of our relationships are kind of like this deep fryer. You just let things just go unattended for so long. And then when it comes time to benefit from, uh, in a positive way, you know, not just using people or whatever, but benefit in a positive way, we feel like we realize that we've sometimes caused a lot of damage. And it's like, how do you recuperate? Um, or reestablish uh, positive relationship with people that we actually love. I don't love this deep fryer, but I love saving my money. How about that? And so, like, you know what? In our relationships, we can clean up certain things too. And sometimes it starts off by saying, I'm sorry. Right? I mean, and really meaning it, not just saying, like, you know just going through the motions of saying I'm sorry but actually really feeling um, remorse right and not saying things like oh, well I'm sorry you feel that way no it's like I'm sorry and um, not saying things like it won't ever happen again because as humans as we are uh, stuff will happen again All right but sometimes we have to build up a little bit of what I call Teflon in our relationships, especially if it's not abusive, right? To say, okay, people will make mistakes. Things are going to happen. And that Teflon that we build in our relationships like this deep fryer, we can send, consider it to be a little bit of grace, right? So how can I extend grace? to those that I love, you know? So yeah, that's what I was thinking about cleaning out this, whew, this deep fryer, right? It's like, how do we save the relationships, right? Even when they get a little messy, but we wanna keep them. And the other person wants to, to help maintain the relationship too. But sometimes we have to be the bigger person and say, well, I'm sorry, right? And, you know, ask those questions. What can I do to be a better service to you? As a better family member, as a better friend, as a better lover, as a better partner, whatever, whatever it is, right? And then really take the time to listen to what the person has to say. And, uh, yeah, yeah. And at the same time, build up that little Teflon for ourselves and that Teflon becomes a little bit of grace, extending that grace towards ourselves and then also extending that grace towards others, right? Yeah. 
That extension of grace is the Teflon. Ooh. And uh, saying I'm sorry. Right. I will say this, I'm really sorry that I left this out <laughs> for as long as I did. But um, it's going to be beautiful and so will this e these Easter pull boys. So as we are in these high holy days, it's the middle of Ramadan. Today is the first day of Passover. Um, this is Holy Week. There's a lot of things going on this week spiritually and physically. Right. Um, extend that grace where you can. First of all, to yourself. Always to yourself first. And then to others, right? Repair those relationships. And once you said you're sorry and if the other person doesn't accept, you still extend that grace, still extend that love. All right, I'm going to finish with this. And Y'all have a wonderful day. Um, we'll catch up maybe at the end of the week, you know. High Holy Week. We'll catch up. And, uh, you know, I hope your path today will lead you into some wonderful spaces full of grace and full of love. And uh, see you again. Yeah. Ma voix aujourd'hui. I took its perch. Um, Ma voix aujourd'hui is going to be... Um, Stop! Oh my goodness. I, I probably need to close the window anyway. Alright. I, I think we're going to close it up. Um, have a wonderful end of the day. Or have a wonderful day. and May your path, ta voix, be straight and clear. And uh, see y'all soon.